For the first time, I am worried. A blockchain is eating the lunch of Ethereum. DeFi is exploding on this blockchain and might soon catch up with Ethereum. We can just sit there and do nothing. We have to find out what's going on. I'm Julian and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I explain blockchain technology. So first, I'm going to tell you about a couple of projects on this other blockchain that is competing with Ethereum. First, we have Venus. Venus is the biggest DeFi project in terms of transaction volume at the moment across all blockchain. This really came out of nowhere. What is the Venus project? This is a combination of two projects on Ethereum, Compound the Lending Platform and MakerDAO, the creators of the DAI stablecoin. On Venus, like on Compound, you can lend your coins and borrow other coins based on the collateral you deposited on the platform. And on top of it, you can also mint some stablecoins called VAI based on your collateral. Andrei Kronhe, the creator of Yon Finance, is planning to do a project like this on Ethereum, but Venus already did it on another blockchain. The next project to know is Autofarm. Autofarm is number two in terms of users and transaction volume out of all the DeFi projects across all blockchain. This also came out of nowhere. This is so DeFi. You think you are on top of it, you have your eyes everywhere, you spend the whole day listening to everything and you wake up the next day just to find out that you've been missing on something super important. So Autofarm is a yield aggregator like Yon Finance on Ethereum. It constantly monitors the market and reallocate your coins to the DeFi project with the highest yield. For some pools, we have some crazy yield up to 354,000%. And finally, we have PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap is the first DeFi project across all blockchains in terms of users. PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange where you can buy and sell tokens. I checked the code and it's pretty much a copy and paste of Uniswap on Ethereum. Nothing very original here, but because it was one of the first decentralized exchange on this other blockchain, it got really popular really fast. So it's pretty clear that one of the biggest reasons why people are going to this other blockchain is because of the crazy yield there. But what is this other blockchain I've been talking about? I was talking of the Binance Smart Chain. It was launched by Binance in September 2020 and in six months it has already grown tremendously. The price of the BNB tokens which is used to pay transaction fees on Binance Smart Chain is increasing very fast. In terms of unique active wallet, it has grown a lot. And you can also analyze the ranking for the different DeFi project on DAP radars. In terms of transaction volume, the top DeFi DAPs are now on the Binance Smart Chain. And for users, it's even more impressive. The first DeFi app on Ethereum is Synthetix at the 15th position. I was really shocked when I saw that. But keep in mind that these stats are only for the last 24 hours, but it does show a trend. This is DeFi Station, a website that lists the biggest DeFi project on a Binance Smart Chain. So this is the equivalent of DeFi Pulse on Ethereum. We are already at $9.5 billion of value locked on Binance. To go from 1 billion to 9 billion, it took 50 days, but on Ethereum, it took 270 days. So it grew much faster on Binance Smart Chain. Why people are coming to Binance Smart Chain very quickly? The first reason is, as I said before, because of the very high yield of DeFi projects there and second we also have much lower gas fees on Binance Smart Chain. On Ethereum it's becoming a huge problem and now only Wells can participate in some DeFi projects. Does this mean that the party is over for Ethereum? Not so fast. The trade-off on the Binance Smart Chain is more scalability in exchange of more centralization. They only have 21 validators versus 12,000 nodes on Ethereum. In the short term, people would just want to make a quick buck on DeFi project and nobody care about this. But in the future, at some point, regulators will come and ask Binance to shut down some DeFi apps on the Binance Smart Chain. They will be forced to comply and that will be a huge hit to the credibility of the Binance Smart Chain. So here is my advice. If you are a beginner, learn Ethereum first. And after, once you know Ethereum, learn Binance Smart Chain. It's based on the technology of Ethereum, so you can reuse all your Ethereum knowledge. And to get started on Binance Smart Chain, I have a tutorial here. I'll see you there.